New Zealand rugby boss Mark Robinson has acknowledged his organisation has got a lot wrong in fast-tracking the professionalism of the women's game, but stopped short of conceding they had failed in their duty of care for the Black Ferns. NZR on Monday released the findings from the Black Ferns cultural and environmental review sparked by the 2021 Instagram post by touring squad member T. Karan Gatarangamate alleging inappropriate comments and language used by head coach Glenn Moore, who has subsequently been retained in the job through this year's World Cup in New Zealand. The review was tasked with considering and assessing the Black Ferns' environment with an eye to ensuring the program was in the best position to be successful and was led by experienced review consultant Philippa Muir, alongside former Black Fern Tammy wilson Ulunayo, Eleanor Butterworth and Gilbert Anoka. Luke Crawford and Eroni Clark also served as cultural advisors. Chris McKean of Stuff, New Zealand Rugby Chief Executive Mark Robinson at Black Fern's Cultural Review Press Conference. It should be noted that at the time of their appointment, two of the four strong panel were employed by NZ Rugby, though Butterworth has since left her role as a harm prevention manager with the organization and now works at ACC. Asterisk, we haven't got everything right, and we apologize, Black Fern's Culture Review released. Asterisk Wayne Smith to join Black Fern's coaching team as Culture Review looms. Asterisk Eleanor Butterworth to farewell NZ Rugby, but legacy of harm prevention will live on. The review, which interviewed 52 players, management and people recently associated with the team, found major shortcomings in the way the Black Ferns organization operated and produced 26 recommendations under seven themes. Some of their findings were damning, including that there was no clear or consistent high-performance vision, practices or mindset in the team, that players needed education on the responsibilities and expectations required of them in a high-performance environment, and that the firms required a long-term, sustainable, high-performing and inclusive culture with alignment across players and management. The review also called for better psychological safety and freedom in the firm's environment and was heavily critical of communication structures in the women's game in general and the black ferns in particular. They noted a need for aspects such as selecting, contracting and reviewing to be culturally inclusive and adaptable to players, cultural agenda sensitivities. Frederick Scheiber, Info via Photosport The Black Ferns have a lot to address if they hope to defend their World Cup on home soil later this year. The reviewers noted that the Black Ferns comprised 50% Maori players and 25% of Pacifica origin and called for dismantling systems and practices that reflect a Pākehā worldview. NZR Chief Executive Mark Robinson neatly sidestepped a question on how things had got this bad in the Black Ferns environment. We acknowledge we've done some very good things in this space over many years, however there is no doubt, as we move into professionalism, the pace of change, and wanting to grow into a more full-time environment, there have been things we haven't done, as well as we could have. We have got to do better, he said. There is a lot of information to work through, but there are some things we want to respond to very quickly, as it relates to the environment and ensuring we be as successful as possible at the World Cup and some other issues that may take a little more time. We have never shied away from the fact we believe this is an area of the game we see as critically important. Have we got everything right? No, we haven't in spaces. But the commitment is there and this provides us a fantastic roadmap to improve in a number of areas. We're not hiding from the fact these issues exist, and we're taking them incredibly seriously. Chris McKean of Stuff Philippa Muir, Centre, speaks at the press conference about the Black Ferns' cultural and environmental review. But Robinson stopped short of conceding NZ Rugby had failed in its duty of care for the Black Ferns. We've said up front there are several areas we haven't got right. We've worked incredibly hard, shown a huge amount of passion for the growth of the game, and as a result of that speed there are some things that haven't been worked through as well as they could be. Muir confirmed the voice of Ngata Rengamate had been by no means alone one critical of Black Fern's management practices, and conceded there is some rebuilding that needs to go on. Asked by Stuff if her view was the Black Ferns would benefit from having a female coach, she said, 
One of the things we've identified is there needs to be greater investment by NZR in learning how to coach and work with women. Bringing in more women and increasing those pathways has to be of benefit, but as we also say in the report it's about merit and the right person for the job. More, who has had veteran former All Blacks coach Wayne Smith added to his coaching team for 2022, was not at the announcement and put out a statement via his personal PR company. There was no mention of an apology to Ngata Rengamate, who was not at the recent Black Ferns camp in Christchurch, though Robinson said NZR was comfortable with players speaking out on what they saw as issues. We want all our players across the game to feel they're safe in the environment and have the ability to express their views, he said. In terms of any consequences for team management, Robinson said it was a process still being worked through. We know we have to make shifts in the environment to provide support around cultural aspects, the people side and communication, and the technical and tactical. Key findings of the review. Asterisk challenges exist in the Black Ferns high performance environment with the transition to a semi-professional model. Asterisk the culture among the players is strong, but is not fully aligned with management. Asterisk management structures do not always appropriately support the Black Ferns culture and environment. Asterisk player leadership structure is positive but needs refinement. Asterisk significant communication issues exist between players, coaches, management and players union. Asterisk health and well-being gaps in the environment for players and management. Asterisk NZR structures have not sufficiently supported women's high-performance rugby.